they even study about division of fractions. Before that, we need to discuss about the word reciprocal. So what is reciprocal? You will learn about it using these examples. Find the reciprocal of two thirds. When you say reciprocal, you will just invert. You will write the denominator on the numerator and the numerator on the denominator. Therefore, the reciprocal of two thirds is three halves or three over two. Another, what is the reciprocal of four over five? So, simply five over four. Another, five over three, the reciprocal is three over five. Seven over four, the reciprocal is 4 over 7. And 9 over 5, the reciprocal is 5 over 9. Okay, so I hope the word reciprocal is clear to all of you. Now, let us go to division. Division of fractions by a fraction. Here, I have 9 over 11 divided by 3 over 7. First, you will write the same fraction. The first fraction, write as it is. But the second fraction, you will get the reciprocal. So you will write here 7 over 3. And you will change division by multiplication. This time, you will now multiply the fraction by the fraction. Now, there are two methods to do this. Method 1, you will multiply the numerator by the numerator and the denominator by the denominator of the other fraction. So here, we have 9 over 11 times 7 over 3. We'll just multiply this. 9 times 7 is 63. And 11 times 3 is 33. And after that, we need to simplify the fraction. So we can divide this by 3, let's say. Divide by 3, divide by 3. 63 divided by 3. So using another paper, 2 times 3 is 6. Bring down 3, 1. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. So the answer here is 21 over 33 divided by 3 is 11. And then here, 21 over 11. No more number that could divide both the numerator and the denominator exactly. But the problem is the numerator is bigger than the denominator. We can divide the numerator by the denominator and our answer will be a mixed number. Look here. 21 divided by 11. So this is 1. 1 times 11 is 11. 1 minus 1 is 0. 2 minus 1 is 1. Therefore, the answer here is 1. This 1 is the whole number. This is the numerator. And this is the denominator. The answer is 1 and 10 over 11. Okay? Now, method 2. We will apply cancellation here. 9 over 11 times 7 over 3. You need to look for one number below the vinculum. We call this line vinculum. We will look one number from below and one number on top. And then we will think of a number that could divide these two numbers exactly without remainder. Here I have 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 9 divided by 3 is 3. So now, we have these new numbers. We have 3 times 7 over 11 times 1. And then, multiply 3 times 7 is 21 over 11. We will go back here and 21 over 11 is the same as 1 and 10 over 11. So this is 
our answer here and this is our answer using method one and using method two the same up to you which one will you use now i have here another example this is division of fraction by a whole number now when you see that there is no denominator understood there is one but we do not write because 5 over 1 is just the same as 5. Now, we will divide this. I told you, write the first fraction as it is. So, 2 over 3. But, get the reciprocal of the second fraction and change division to multiplication. Now, this is now 1 over 5. And then, using method 1 or method 2, you can get the answer. 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times 5 is 15. No more number than to divide these two numbers exactly. So, this is already in the simplest form. Another example is dividing a whole number by a fraction. Look here, 20. So, I told you, understood there is one denominator. So, you will write 20 over 1 as it is. And then get the reciprocal of 4 over 5. That is... 5 over 4 and change division to multiplication. Here we can apply method 2 by cancellation because I can see 4 and 20 could be divided by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 20 divided by 4 is 5. And then now we will multiply the numbers. 5 times 5 over 1 times 1. So this is equal to 25 over 1. And if the denominator is 1, write the number as a whole number, 25. Okay? So, for your homework, please answer students' book, pages 17 to 73. Thank you.